വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ അപ്പം നമുക്കിന്ന് തുടങ്ങാം അല്ലേ സോ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ എൻ സി ക്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് റേഡിയോ തെറാപ്പി വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ്പ് എൻ സി ക്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് റേഡിയോ തെറാപ്പി സോ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ സെയിം സെഷൻ ഫോർ ടു ഡി ആൻഡ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഫ്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ വാട്സപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ് ഇൻ മൈ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ ബട്ട് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ഐ എം റിപ്പീറ്റിംഗ് few of the whatsapp group for uh, radiographers coaching hcpc registration for uk nhs interview special uh, canadian association as well as ireland coral queries i have five whatsapp group and those who wish to join any of these group can just whatsapp me i'll be giving my whatsapp number and my email address in my description box this nhs special group is very special we will be discussing all the interview questions in this group and we have started providing mock interview and so you will be easy how to face this interview and this mock interview is conducted by the interviewer is from united kingdom he is my close friend of mine and he will be conducting the interview and the main highlight of all these group is that it is all free of cost we are not buying any single rupee from any of these candidates so you can free feel to join all these groups and if you require any study material for any of the licensing exam in gcc you can just mail me i'll be sending you the study material so patiently watch till the end and stay Let's begin part 9 tutoring of radiotherapy. I have started a few of the sessions related with radiotherapy MCQs and this is a continuation of part 8. So let's begin. To Question number 86. What is the relationship between LET and biologic damage? LET means linear energy transfer. Option A. They increase in direct proportion. Option B. they are inversely proportional option c there is no relationship and option d is there is no linear non threshold relationship the answer is option a they increase in direct proportion so let's see the explanation when biological response is defined in terms of relative biological effectiveness that is rbe and different radiation type is characterized by linear energy transfer and when we plot a graph that is rb versus let the curve shows that rb rb means relative biological effectiveness to increase with increasing let to reach a maximum and to decrease with in further increasing so what is the relationship between let and biological damage means they increase in direct proportion moving on to the next question question number 87 the bulge at the upper end of the stomach is called the option a fundus option b greater curvature option c pylorus and option d is rugae the answer is option a fundus so let's see the explanation cardiac is where the content of the esophagus empty into the stomach the fundus that is from the latin word bottom is formed in the upper curved part the body is the main the central region of the stomach the pylorus from the greek that is gate keeper is the lower section of the stomach that empties the content into the duodenum duodenum is the beginning of the small intestine it is c shaped and the parts of the stomach is fundus body and the pylorus moving on to the next question question number 18 the ideal timing of radiotherapy for wills tumor after surgery is option a within 10 days option b within 2 weeks option c within 3 weeks and option d any time after surgery the answer is option a within 10 days so let's see the explanation radiotherapy is to be started within 10 days delay in starting radiotherapy for wilms tumor can result in an increase in relapse rate relapse rate means recurrence moving on to the next question question number 89 a young male is brought unconscious to the hospital with external injury the ct brain showed no midline shift but the basal system was compressed by multiple small hemorrhages what is the likely diagnosis option a cerebral contusion 
option b cerebral laceration option c multiple impacts and option d is diffuse axonal injuries the answer is option d diffuse axonal injuries so let's see the explanation diffuse axonal injury is the sharing or the tearing of the brain's long connecting fibre nerve fibers that is the axon that happens when the brain is injured as it shifts and rotates inside the bony skull diffuse axonal injury usually causes coma and injury to many different parts of the brain moving on to the next question question number 90 half life of technetium 99 is option a 2 hours option b 6 hours option c 12 hours and option d is 24 hours the answer is option b 6 hours uh, let's see the explanation technetium 99 m is a short lived form of technetium 99 that is used as a medical diagnostic tool it is used in nuclear medicine it is having a short half life of 6 hours and does not remain in the body or the environment for long Moving on to the next question, question number 91. Radiation damage is divided into lethal damage, sublethal damage and potentially lethal damage. So, which of the following statement is true? Option A. Potential lethal damage will cause cell death under ordinary circumstances. Option B. Potential lethal damage cannot be repaired under ordinary circumstances. Option C. The variation of post irradiation condition cannot enhance potential lethal damage repair. And option D. Potential lethal damage repair is less likely to occur when mitosis is delayed. The answer is option A. Potential lethal damage will cause cell death under ordinary circumstances. So let's see the explanation. The three category of radiation damage is produced by ionizing radiation are lethal damage, sublethal damage and potentially lethal damage. So what is lethal damage? Lethal damage is irreversible and irreparable leading to cell death. What is sublethal damage? Sublethal damage can be repaired in a matter of hours when no additional sublethal damage is added that is for example, due to the second dose of radiation, that would lead accumulately to lethal damage. This type of damage has been taken advantage of by using fractionated treatment in radiotherapy. Next comes the potential lethal damage. That is when the potential lethal damage is not repaired, it is lethal. Potential lethal damage can be observed in in vivo in and in vitro experiments with radiation and chemotherapeutic drugs. This repair takes place post irradiation when cells are allowed time to repair instead of being allowed to proliferate through to mitosis or division. Hence, potential lethal damage repair affects the radio sensitivity of the cells and the radio curability of the treated tumors. Moving on to the next question, question number 92. From which embryonic structure does vertebral column develop? Option A, notogrod, option B, nerve cord, option C, silo, and option D, is atrium. The answer is option A, notogrod. So let's see the explanation. Notogrod contain many glucoprotein and other structural molecules which form a ring like structures and provide elasticity and strength to the notochord. In vertebra, the notochord is later replaced by a cartilaginous structure called the vertebral column. Moving on to the next question, question number 93. Which, what is the treatment of choice for stage 3 carcinoma cervix? Option A, chemotherapy. Option B, radiotherapy. Option C, chemoradiotherapy. Option D, surgery. The answer is option C, chemoradiotherapy. So, let's see the explanation. Stage 3 cervical cancer is best managed by a combination of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Moving on to the next question, question number 94. Which of the following cannot be emitted by radioactive substances? During their decay, option A, electron, option B, helium nucleus, option C, proton, option D, neutrino. 
The answer is option C, proton. Neutrinos and electrons emit in beta decay and helium nucleus emit in alpha decay. Moving on to the next question, question number 95. Which of the following statement is false? Option A. Radiation damage can cause a cell to either die or continue being viable but mutated. Option B. The two events above are very different when it comes to those dependence of their probability to occur and also when it comes to their impact on the organism to be the cell below. Option C. The cell killing by radiation is said to be a deterministic effect and option D self mutating by radiation is said to be a non stochastic effect the answer is option D self mutating by radiation is said to be a non stochastic effect here you can see the effects on the human body there are of two types that is deterministic effect and stochastic effect deterministic effects is otherwise known as non stochastic effect so here you can see the examples for deterministic effect that is hair loss, cataract, skin injury etc. While in the case of stochastic effect it is cancer, leukemia, hereditary effects etc. Here you can see when the number of people were exposed to the same amount of radiation certain symptoms occur in 1% of them and said that the dose is considered to be the threshold dose that means above the threshold dose there is no effect while in the case of stochastic effect that the effects of radiation exposure under certain dosage are not clear because effects of other cancer prompting factors such as smoking drinking habits are too large and here you can see that assuming that there is no threshold dose Hope you all are happy with today's session. In that session, all of our comments are in the issue. So with that, I am coming to the end of the today's session. As I say, always please share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos I am uploading. So until then, uh, stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned till next Sunday since Sunday is the day for uploading my new videos and for new updates. Until then, stay tuned.